from the YouTube Dojo. This is week now up there with Ellen Euler and now a man who is to a uh, YouTube as Will Smith is to the new Aladdin movie. Ellie Kanye Muir. Oh, ha! Welcome to the week now update. I'm Ellie Kanye Muir. Why is that my glass office? Okay, do not adjust your uh, YouTube screen because, you know, I have this small direct club thing, you know, uh, you know, I usually uh, don't uh, put this on when I do the show, but mom says, you know, you know, I mean, my mom says, you know, uh, we're going to do a show with this on, and I have a feeling that this is going to be awkward, but here we go. Tonight. Um, tonight's Shadow Spotlight winners are Elton Dark World Gaming and Tech of This Gaming Videos. Ace Rabbit This Fan Edits, Nev519 with his uh, gaming videos and Visual Anthony related videos and videos uh, in regards to the Three Stooges. Entertainers Warehouse with his vlogs. I don't know if he's uh, still, I don't know if he's still around or not. And Matthew Reed, who has been uh, asking me to give him a shout out for a while. He says he wants. Uh, more subs that he could uh, have uh, some friends. Of course, Matt Uwe needs to understand that you know YouTube is all about fun and not about you know the money. All right. I mean seriously. You know my people have tried to do this uh, for money and it all backfired. It all backfired. I'm mean, serious. Hey Adam, do you want to see this? I'm sorry, brother, but we gotta hustle, man. I um, doesn't understand that we have to get the show up and running. If I wait for him, then the show will never be up and running. Everybody knows that, and that's the truth. Let's get on with this. Will Smith is stepping out of his comfort zone. Now, just hear me out, please, before you start uh, yelling about Aladdin and all that kind of stuff. You know, just... Hear me out for a second, all right? He was once so afraid of doing stand-up comedy. So Dave Chappelle helped him out by letting him perform in front of his wife. That's right, in front of his wife. Wow. I'll let you know about what people actually think about him when his wife uh, posts uh, her first review about uh, his uh, stand-up comedy routine on her blog. Or whatever she does. I don't know. Now here's something odd for you. He's about to star in the movie entitled King Richard. That's right. King Richard. Cool, right? But here's the thing, though. It won't be about a regular king. No. It's about Serena Williams and her dad who helped Serena and apparently her sister Venus as well. You know, will become uh, tennis stars. And I'm like, really? Why would anyone see uh, a film with a misleading title? I mean, seriously. When you think about uh, a movie with the, with the first part of the title being King, you would expect to see what else but a royal king, right? I mean, come on. Makes sense uh, to me, doesn't it? Anyway, it's time for the topic. Here we go. It's not good otherwise. We're going to have to call Alpha Yitzhak. Tonight's category. Top eight. Mm, top eight. Mm. Tonight's category. Top eight titles for Will Smith's first comedy special. Number eight, fresh comedy gesto. Number seven, Hollywood clone. Number six, should stick to rapping and acting. Number five, stop. Number four, not again. Number three, ouch. Number two, I'm not the genie. And number one, get more out here. Thank you very much, MP and Craigers. You got more after tonight's uh, commercials and by the night.
everything's beautiful. Spring is in the air. Yeah! And so is pollen, disgusting animal fur, and bugs too. Just give me some of that naked night. It's television for viewing delight. It's guaranteed to make you feel alright. Just give me some of that naked night. You want your cover tomorrow? Hey, Al, get this. They want delivery tomorrow. <laughs> you kidding? Come on. You really want your new carpet tomorrow? Okay, just call Empire today. I promise you'll have your new carpet tomorrow. Not only that, but with your good credit, you won't make a payment for 90 days. Oh, boy. Delivery tomorrow? <laughs> Come on, will you? 588 Empire. Empire today, carpet tomorrow. You know, uh, a lot of you are probably watching this uh, show right now. You know, you always come to the point where, you know, uh, either uh, I alone or Adam and I would uh, come out and uh, talk about the uh, articles that we're uh, about to read on the air. You know, like the articles that I use for the uh, opening remarks. Now, the thing is, you know, none of you uh, folks. Uh, I actually got to uh, see the articles on the air. Well, tonight, I have decided to uh, give something a try, alright? As I'm reading the article, you know, I'm going to uh, pop up those articles on your uh, screen right now. And you get to uh, read them very briefly as I'm reading the articles. Sounds cool? Alright. Here we go. According to People Magazine, this is true. Now, this is one of uh, Will Smith's uh, new uh, Facebook walk, uh, show entitled uh, Will Smith Bucket. In which the uh, soon to be 51 year old Will Smith does uh, random things uh, from his bucket. In this case, it's stand up comedy. It was having uh, a very successful we are in front of a live audience, but that was school rap. And he claims that when you do music, if you forget your lyrics, the audience knows it. And they catch up and they will pick up and they go. If you stand up, you start out when you stumble. Or if there's one moment where your heart jumps, they see it. So in order to uh, conquer his fear, he gets some help from Dave Chappelle, or was what he, or as we like to call, the master. And he said, "There's only one master that I would ever want to learn from in terms of stand." Now, I'll tell you, he didn't uh, disappoint. Well, here's the thing, right? Dave Chappelle had his own uh, Comedy Central uh, show for about three years, and then he bolted, even though Comedy Central paid him a lot of money, a lot of money. Wow. And then, uh, he, and then Dave Chappelle gave him three tips. But then this key, pick the right to talk about and be interesting all the time. Well, <laughs> sometimes I have, uh, have uh, those things and yet uh, barely anybody watches uh, this show. You know, try to get Adam over here, but for some reason he doesn't want to come over because he thinks that his game is more important than the show, huh? And we can't uh, wait for it. This show uh, can't wait. Now, this show got to come up. No, I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Now, moving on to this uh, next article for a second. Now, it seems that Warner Brothers, right? You remember Warner Brothers, right? Yeah. Whatever. But guess what? Warner Brothers is officially in final negotiations to buy King Rick, a movie starring Will Smith. Right? And you would think, oh, King Rick is about the king, right? No. Wrong. It's actually about 
Venus and Serena Williams and how their father, Victor, helped them uh, become the tennis stars that they are today. Now, for those of you who don't know, Serena Williams won 23 Grand Slam titles over, over the years, and Venus Williams has only won 7. So, that's pretty odd, but here's the thing, alright? It's being produced by Tim and Trevor White. You mean to tell me you can wait 10 minutes to do your show? Brother, come on, man. Shame. If I waited 10 minutes and the show would never be up on time, man. Come on, it's true. You can't wait. There's no time. There's just no time. Seriously. Now, anyway, it says here that Schmidt is currently in production on Bad Boys for Life, the third installment of the Bad Boy Switch. Wow. That's rather interesting, huh? Switch is, uh, even more interesting is that if uh, Uncle Phil was still alive, you know, uh, the uncle who uh, took uh, Will's character in, you know, uh, on the first Prince of Bel Air, if Will Smith, if Uncle Phil had a sense of humor, he would have sent uh, Carlton over there right now to, uh, to snap him out. But I don't know. Alright, folks. Well, that's the show for tonight. You know, I, I want to know what you think about the, uh, about the whole, uh, showing you folks the articles, uh, thing while I'm, uh, reading. Now, I really want to know. So, if you have any opinions about that, for heaven's sakes, please, just comment down below. And, by the way, you know, uh, Friday's, uh, show will include the random report. Alright? You know, tomorrow we got Lori Laughlin, of course. Wednesday is Bob Saget night. Thursday is Katy Perry, and then Friday we're going to talk about Little Thing with another installment of the Round Report. And hopefully, uh, you won't start crazy get this. That's the show for tonight. That's news. I'm out, Keith. Well, bye, farewell.